Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the readable and writable streams. Now what these streams allow us to do is basically be able to read and write data more efficiently and the way that they accomplish this is by reading and writing data in chunks as opposed to reading and writing the data all at once. So to get started, we're going to have to require the FS module or the file system module. So I'm just going to say const FS is equal to require FS. Now that we have our file system module included, we're going to create a readable stream. And there's a method called FS.createReadStream. And now I need to give it the path. So if I just hit control B, you can see that I have an example.txt file here, and it has a bunch of text that we're going to be reading in. So if I head back to app.js, hit control B again, we're just going to give it the path of dot forward slash example.txt. And then that's it. Now this is going to return to us a readable stream. So I'm just going to save it within a variable. So I'm just going to say cons read stream is equal to fs dot read stream and then here what we can do is listen for an event now the read stream object inherits from the event emitter class so that means we could listen for events to occur and one event that we want to listen for is the data event so i'm just going to say read stream dot on data and then this is going to take a callback function. And now we're going to get a chunk of data in return. So every time we read a piece of data, this event data is going to be invoked. So this callback function is going to be called every time we get a piece of data. So now I'm just going to print out the data onto the console. And you're going to see why I call it a chunk and not the full file in a second. So now if I save this, go to node app. And you can see that we read this data within two chunks. So we have two printouts here. We have a buffer here and a buffer here. So let's actually uh, set the encoding type. So it's a lot easier to what the source is. And we're just going to set it to UTF-8 and save this and now let's rerun this application and there you go you see that we read our text file so what are the benefits of reading this in a chunk as opposed to loading the whole file well for one when i get this chunk i could immediately start manipulating that chunk so i don't have to wait for the whole file to load in order to manipulate it or let's say that I don't want to manipulate this chunk of data that I got already. I want to send it to a new file. Well, I could start sending that data to a new file while I'm reading in the data itself. So let's actually send it to a new file. And for that, we're going to have to create a writable stream. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to say const write stream is equal to fs.createWriteStream. And within here is going to be the name of the file that I want to write to. So I'm just going to call it example2.txt. And now within here, what I can do is, instead of waiting to get the whole data, I could start writing chunks to the new file. So within here, instead of just printing out console.log, chunk I can say write stream dot write and I could write this data to a new file as I'm reading it in so I could say chunk here and let's save that and now if I run this application node app so now if I hit control B you guys see our newly created file and if I go here you can see that we wrote onto a new file. So basically what's happening here is I'm able to write chunk by chunk in our example, two chunks in order to get the full file 
but I'm able to start writing before the file is fully loaded. And that's pretty much the power of using a stream.